It's Arm Cannon versus Arm Cannon as we look into these shining jewels of game design. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we decide which one of these two incredible games moves forward. It's Super Metroid versus Mega Man X on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. We got Mega Man X versus Super Metroid. Oh, these are both. Like, are we gonna go with the 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 blue bomber or the Fim Fatale? Mm. Oh, mm. nice, Steve. Thanks. Thank My brain is mush. Ah uh, man, I'm surprised I'm doing. Not okay, trying to, not trying to, not trying to like show how the sausage well, is made day. or anything. But this is the <laughs> last. This is the last recording of this session. And boy, am I glad because this has been just traumatizing, rough for, for, yeah. for, for, well, for stay, poor Brandon. Stay God, tuned because it's going to get rougher. Is that a word? It's going to get stinking rough. Let's, is rougher a rougher? word? <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it rougher or more rough? It's rougher. rougher. Okay, good. All right. Okay. That's why I fight people for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, Mega Man X versus Super Metroid. Metroid. Visuals go. Okay, let's talk about. Oh, wait, before whoa, we even oh, get started, before okay, we even get started, we're prefacing. We're prefacing. these are both a little. They're a little different. They're similar, but we, oh, yeah, we yeah, chose yeah, these yeah. because the gameplay style. Like, there's, Super there's Metroid, different things going on. Metroid is its own genre. It kind of created, which you know, we talked about Metroidvania's in the last season. Mm -hmm. um, whereas Mega Man is. It's kind of, Mega Man X is kind of like a revolution of the original Mega Man games, where you, you get to pick the levels, you get to do them in a specific order, and they're linear start to finish, right? Yeah. Whereas Metroid, you have this kind of open, organic world. You can constantly travel in whatever order you please. In fact, you just kind of have to go. Yeah. Like, it doesn't tell you anything. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. So... I want to preface with that, but mm -hmm. let's go down your list. Let's yeah. go down the guy line so this episode doesn't also end up 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> visuals. Metroid. I think Metroid's got the visuals. Because Metroid has a really good way of showing live environments. A wild territory full of teeming with life. Ooh, he's got a good point. And it's just it's like an the alien... Like, like when you first get down to Brin Star and they got those flower petal looking things kind of just yep. going down, really building the atmosphere that you're in kind of a jungle biome, but mm -hmm. under underground Each a bit. biome feels so very different. It does. It, Most of it's underground. It does convey the atmosphere of those areas, like this area is hot, this area is overgrown with with vegetation, vegetation yeah, uh, this place is place. an abandoned spaceship, this one's underwater, there's bubbles, there's like all kinds of attentions and detail in this open world. Yep. That's you can very tell. Difficult. You can tell it's, it's heavily inspired by a lot of uh, space themes, oh, like the alien, alien oh, theme. Like, oh man, yeah. the yeah. eerie feeling, yeah. that eerie feeling of isolation where kind you're of the only person little bit. Mm -hmm, little bit. on that planet. It's just, it's phenomenal. It does such it a does, great yeah. job. It does. I, I agree. Gotta do with the Whereas Mega Man also mm. does an incredible job. Of course, you well, got... It does, without it, a doubt. It's a little bit more like, this is the ice level, this is the fire level, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. jungle level. Yeah. This, like, it's, it's just kind of... It's a little more... I wouldn't say cartoony is the word, because there's a serious oh, element oh, into oh, Mega oh, Man. Say, it's got a little it's more playfulness. A little bit more stylized, yeah. whereas... Stylized. Metroid's trying to Mega be Man more X realistic. is a little more serious in comparison to the other Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, stylized is about Let's talk about the sprite work. On both these these games, I feel I like Metroid better, man. I do feel like Metroid does a good job of combining the Mode Seven graphics with mm -hmm. like the Fantoon when he's moving around, or like Ridley going back and forth, yeah, and forth yeah, around the back. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Kraid, dude, the Kraid battle—he he's so big, he doesn't even fit on the screen. It's ginormous. Yep. But also, uh, Mega Man does a good job of, um, like, the enemy design. Like, all the yeah. robotic oh, design. Yeah. Like, like, that little ball, like, in the very first level, the little ball thing that comes out, and, like, he yep. he, he comes up, he's got legs! He's, he's a little bipedal yeah, walking robot. Yeah. critter. All of them are unique. There's not, like, there's not too many pastel swaps. Or, like, remember that one wood chopping robot who's yeah. literally built next to a little respawning log thing? And and he's, he's his job is just again. to chop trees. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Like that's his sole purpose in life. Yeah. Is it just keep chopping those little pieces of wood and sending them at, at X? And yeah, kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to just run past them. But um. But they're destroying the forest, man. I, I think they're destroying forest. I think <laughs> the environmental design is really cool in both these games. Without yeah. I yeah. think I have without a doubt. But I think I would have to give the edge. Well, well, before I do that, let's mm. talk about the presentation of things. 
Uh, I will say this, I don't know if this bleeds into mechanic a little bit, but the thing with X, it's, you know, you have the fact that when you get those upgrades, X's armor changes. Yeah, he does fit more. Well, Samus Sam- changes as this well. It's true. Not only does the, the, the shape of her armor change once you get the Varia suit, but the colors as well. They probably, yeah. Uh, you can get... Um, it's not quite as cool as, as X's, but I find that, uh, I, I mean, as far as visuals are concerned, I just I just feel like Metroid's No, it definitely does atmos- atmosphere way better, I think. I uh, well, I'll, let, let, let's talk about, like, the presentation. Of, I mean, like, when it, in Super Metroid, when you shoot a door and you walk through it, and whoop, you go through it, and, it, and then you're, boom, you're in the next area. Yeah. And that area could be really small, really big, or it, you never know. Whereas with Mega Man, it's just kind of like point A, later, yeah. point B, and then this is what you're going to see there. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and then, you know, there are loads, load screens, if you will, in between. Like, you pick the bad guy. Mm-hmm. And then it's like that presentation of how you see, like, the they strike a pose, and then you go to the level. I think that's cool, but what do you prefer? That, like, flashy presentation or that just subverted, like... I'm alone and I'm scared. Now I'm just gonna mm-hmm. keep going. I did, that game just didn't did scare me when I was a kid. I don't know what it was. Metroid? Mm-hmm. Uh, I get it now it as an really adult. Sca- it is it's, it's, scary. Yeah, like it's, the only thing that was really scary was uh, like uh, Crocmire. Yeah. Whenever, whenever it comes back out the lava and you think he's gonna get you yeah. and you just... It's really hard to get scary. scary. Cool too. It's really it hard to get scary on the Super Nintendo, man. That's so well, yeah, limited yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. But uh, you know what? You know what? I, I, I got something I want to say here. Okay. What do you want to say? I think the subtlety of the animation specifically is what's going to make me pick Metroid here. Just the fact, like, you know, whenever you're in the underwater area yeah. and, like, she's constantly kind of breathing and mm-hmm. moving, and then that little bubble whoop, will just kind of come out. Yeah. Whereas with Mega Man, whenever you're standing still, he just kind of. He's, he's there. Just, he's yeah, there. he's a robot. And there's a lot of stuff moving around, like, like the enemies are moving around, but I feel like once, like,. Once you just have X on screen and there's no bad guys and you're just standing there, there's not really as much going on. No, yet I would as agree. Oh, that's that's a, that's a good little. I, I just I like the stylized environment. That's just that's just my. I, I think Shut I, up! You're I, wrong. I, I and they both have similar. They both have similar right. menus. Like whenever you go to equip items, like they have the X standing there with his armor, yeah. and they have uh, Samus, Samus, Samus yes, with the like that shirt I have. Like yeah. it has all the yeah, all the, yeah, kind of like Pip Boy style looking. Yeah, Yoda, I, right. I think I think uh, I'm gonna give the edge slightly to Metroid there. Okay, that's fair. Okay. All right, audio. Metroid. Good, good God! I'm Mega Man X, bro. There's some good bangers, but Dude. there's just so many. It's, it's the quantity. Okay. I, just, I wouldn't even say quantity of quality because they both have quality. The quality in both of them. I think amazing. I think they both have some like blemishes. I mm-hmm. think like yeah. like that one when you fight the spore in Super Metroid. That that one's kind of. Annoying. I like that one. That, that one. That one. That one really sets the stage to make it very creepy feeling. I, yeah. I like that one a lot. That one, it's, it's a little. It's annoying. plain. It's a little annoying. It's plain. I, I agree. It's plain. Um, but I, I think. I think. The, the but mo- also, I mean, there's some weaker. There's some weaker bosses in Mega Man. There's stages that are. But man, some of those. Some no, of those dude, stages, no, look. Though, are just Mega Man it's X. It's music I listen to today. In my personal opinion, out of the whole X series, I think Mega Man X has the most consistent. Just bang yeah, yourself. Yeah, without a doubt. Saying. But Super Metroid also has some of like the most insanely good dude. Mm-hmm. The lower Brain Star Brain theme. Brain Star. Yeah. Good God. Mm. Whoever wrote that just wrote his ticket into Valhalla. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that guy is set, or whoever wrote that. Samus Aran, Space Warrior. Mm, I think Disney also every time. I think also another thing here is how the audio is presented, mm-hmm. not just the compositions of it, but like. Um, how, like with Mega Man, unfortunately, you start a level, it's the level song, and it's really good music, but you go through, maybe you find a Dr. Light tube, and you get that, dun, 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 and you go to the end, and then the same boss music for each character. Whereas with Metroid, it's like when you enter a new area, it just it's kind of subtle how it transitions that music. But also, every now and again, you get that event music, like the dun, 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 dun. And it, it's like kind of creepy, and then bam, 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 and then something will pop yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. The way that they kind of work that music into it, and That's that fair. also has to do with the non-linear um, nature of yeah, Super Metroid. Metroid. Sure, well, sure, sure. So, so you need to cash in on those events. What really right. stands out to me with Metroid? Yes, Mega Man X has some absolute bangers. I mean, you got uh, Busy Hot. What's it called? Highway. 
No, no, it's the opening song, opening, opening song. stage, opening stage, <laughs> Storm Eagle, Storm Eagle, Spark Mandrill, Spark Mandrill, Launch Up, every single, every the, single the level, level select, dude, every single, down, 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 yeah, but, bam, 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 but, bam, yeah, Metroid does a fantastic job at interweaving those musics to set the stage for what you're experiencing because it does look I'm getting goosebumps I'm getting goosebumps do guys he's goosebumps. doing it he can do it I'm yeah, getting goosebumps it. dude and I'm telling you dude you remember that part you remember that part with Mother Brain that <laughs> dun, 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 and then and then dude how about that part spoiler alert when the Super Metro I don't know I don't know if you ever finished the Super Metro comes back and then it dies on top of you and then same I got the goosebumps now dude yeah dude I'm getting them again the same as theme plays and you had the hyper beam and dude but the sound effects whenever you're hitting Mother Brain, it's like, ah, ah, yep. and his, her head's just going back. Like you can see the recoil. Man. You're hitting her with the force of, of a thousand Guys, suns. I can't compete with that. Hyper Beam, dude, come on. It's just the whole thing, man. So that good. that event music. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm it's okay. I like it, poached you so hard. No, it's dude. okay. Uh, I'm, but I'm, that, that, that setting the stage for it. And then that that, that like uh-huh. creepy like little... Oh, dude, that, you know that creepy music? You know that creepy music? Uh, uh, Meridia? Uh, yeah! Uh, that, that, that's some creepy music. But, man, let's talk about sound effects. Give it to me! Let's talk about sound effects. I've kind of been talking about them, yeah. Um, Mega Man, that charge up. Really good. Dude, Zero's theme, whenever he comes in, dude, and he's just... Wow. And it comes off the screen. Damn, you don't even damn, see damn, him. Damn, yeah. damn, and damn, then damn, that song damn, plays. Damn. I wanted more moments like that. And the bad thing about it's just the nature of that game. Like you kind of get that story introduction, and you don't get any more of it until the very, yeah, it's, it, it's bookends, mm-hmm. right? Like you get a lot of the the, the levels, and, and but I mean we're, we're kind of going to mechanics yeah. a little bit. I guess can we transition? Let's try. Well, we have, yeah, I mean, Sam is yeah, like, sounds like Metroid is y'all's pick for audio. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, are you picking Mega Man yeah. for audio? It's okay. I think I think I feel like you're pick. You, you're more passionate about Metroid. I'll sway you. I do. Way. I love Mega Man X. But I just I just I, I just bang to that music. I, I feel like I maybe I didn't have that that same nostalgia growing it's up really as, good. as Super it's Metroid. Really good. But and, it's, and, and experiencing those moments, so that's where it kind of shallow with me. But just going back and to the music now as an adult, like yeah, I can. I the, the, the Mega Man X. All those all those are on my. Zero's theme every um, single level. Yeah, in my workout. And it's, and it's it's really good stuff, man. But the thing that that puts it over the edge for for Metroid for me personally is the fact that to me Mega Man it feels more like an action. It feels more like an action movie. Oh, yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's Spark Man. And it's the same. It's the same. But it, but it's the same feeling for every single thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas Metroid is setting the stage. No, no, it's for very the isolation. Atmosphere. For the mm. for the amazing like lower Brin star, it's it fills you with a sense of wonder. I'd say this, Mega Man X, uh, to a certain degree. Don't take this out of context. Mega Man X music on repeat doesn't sound it, it doesn't get as repetitive as some like like sometimes whenever I'd play Metroid when I was a kid and that song that dun 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 that's Spark Man. And you already know, like, because once again, it's the nature of the game design that kind of complements the music. I feel like I just feel like when it comes to a cinematic experience, yeah, I can think it. I, yeah, mm, man, I could I could say draw on this, but I'm gonna go you with my gut. Yeah, okay, mechanically. Ooh. Metroid. I, I still like Metroid. I still like oh, Metroid a lot because the, the, I feel like I oh, dude. Well, hold on. Hold on. Mega wait. Man X and the way the levels change when you depend on what order you beat your boss is still the, to this if day you go in blind, my brain. If you go in completely blind on Mega Man X and you don't realize that playing uh, Chill Penguin stage can freeze what over Flame Mammoth, Mammoth stage, yeah. um, that experimentation of playing through a, a shorter game of the two over and over again and being able to kind of get different outcomes and make the playthrough a little easier, or maybe you're a total badass and you're like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm doing it the hardest way possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play it where I never have an advantage. Right. You don't um, have that weapon upgrade to fight the boss. And yeah. One shot him with whatever you have. Yeah. Or I'm purposely not gonna get the armor upgrades. Right. Uh, one thing that I've always loved about Mega Man X, and this is kind of like a story and mechanics combo, mm-hmm. is how you think you think you're cool running in the first level, and then you get grabbed by that yeah. boss, and he <laughs> just. Do. 
He just shows you how annihilated. much he shows you how much of a little wiener you really are. Mm -hmm. And then Zero comes in and X is like, "Man, I thanks so much for saving my butt. Maybe one day I'll be as cool of a Maverick hunter as you." And then by the end of the game, spoiler alert, you're saving him. You're saving him. Yeah. Not only did you get better in the game and upgrading, but you got better as a player. As a player in the because game. Because yeah, all the obstacles it threw at you, and then it kind of throws all of it at you at the same time. Unfortunately, you do get some repeats in the bad guys and you the do. monsters that are thrown at you. But, uh, like, the fact that you can... X has a dash. He's gigging clean to walls. Got it, got it. I feel like the combat is a little bit more engaging yeah. in Mega Man than it is in Metroid to a I certain agree. degree. That's fair. Because with, with Metroid, you kind of have a lot of, like... I'm just taking hits and rebounding a lot. Yeah. Whereas with Mega Man, you get a little bit like, you're like, man, my health is precious. 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 And it's like, you, you really kind of have to you master gotta, those dash, levels. I gotta hold in the wall. I'm gonna shoot and the for the first time ever, look, I'm not the biggest fan of the original Mega Man games. I'll say that outright. I uh, like I them, them. But I think X is the perfection, like the X series, because yeah, mm -hmm. they, give you you more, they give you more time in that side-scrolling like nature of that game to react to things. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with Metroid, there's, unless it's a boss fight, or maybe a space pirate, you're not really doing a lot of like intense combat. It's just kind of like yeah. blast this guy blast and keep it. running. And, yeah, just keep shooting, keep jumping, keep shooting. Yeah, or like I'm, we're talking about like those little long cutting guys we're talking about. You gotta use something to blast through it and get the guy on the other side. So there's yeah. a little bit more thinking involved. Whereas like with Metroid, I feel like there's a little less combat wise. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Metroid's still doing things. Metroid has a lot of other different traversal, like mm -hmm. the speed, the the, the hyper run. The grappling hook, just you know, and adve iconic, just adventuring and exploring in general. And the it's and all the upgrades that you it's make Metroid. it Metroid. Yeah, and there's all kinds of cool little secrets in Metroid. Mm -hmm. Like when, it, like, did you know if you get grabbed by that big pregnant scary thing, if you just grapple straight to the electric thing, the electricity will run through your grapple hook and you'll electrocute it and kill it in like one shot. That's Ooh, really cool. That. Like different, like being little creative, clever um, design and ideas that are tucked away in both these games are, are, are super cool. I think once again, unfortunately, much to our chagrin, our our our, uh, our commenters' chagrin, these are kind of just different enough to be hard to compare, mm. but they're also just similar enough to where they you you know, know, yeah. they got a lot, they have a lot of similarities. I agree. I like Metroid's mechanics a little better just because I feel like I I, I get more use out of them th throughout different parts of the game. Like I feel like and, and maybe. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I feel like with Mega Man X, I feel like really the only advantages that I got from the bosses and the upgrades that I got was combat related. Whereas I feel like I'm using a lot of Metroid's upgrades and stuff for traversing and, and, and not just not just combat. Like, you know, screw attack while it's an attack. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, well, that's more of the gravity jump. But Space like, jump, yeah. I'm, I'm using that to, to get up higher places. Mm -hmm. I'm using the... You, the, there's, you know, I, I like the fact that there's kind of breadcrumbs. Well, like, hey, when you get an upgrade, come back to the spot. I'm going to counter that point because there's certain areas yeah, in, you need, in the levels you, you can't dash. get to, not only with the dash, but, like, in, let's use Flame Mammoth, for example. There's areas that have power-ups that you may have seen your first time through if you haven't already frozen mm -hmm. over by being chill ping first that you can go back to and traverse that level again with a new environment to get those power-ups to get better right. to move forward. And that that's... That's fair. I just I feel like yeah, vehicles, it's, it's vehicles, a vehicles, 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 Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. yeah true, they they expanded true, true, on that true. a little bit more in the sequels. You get like the um, yeah. You, it's really it's really just a mech. The, yeah, the mech and suit. it's it doesn't last long. But it was enough as a kid. Oh, was, oh, oh, holy crap! Oh, dude, yeah. and like I think it's X three or one of them. Like you get a lot of mechs. Mm. They have big spiky arms. Yeah, yeah. I mechanically I give it to I give. It I'm to gonna say game. because of my preference of I, think it's just I love it when a game does not tell me anything and it just cuts me loose and I get to kind of figure out my own stuff and take my own notes and use my own brain to just kind of like maybe I should go here maybe I should go there and it's a lot of like banging your head against a wall sometimes with Metroid um, but with Mega Man X it's more just here's the start go that way or <laughs> go that way until you hit the end and fight the boss. I think that's really my preference. I, I love both these games. Really, really, really I love good. both these games. Yeah. But I think I have to give it to Metroid here as well. What's that? It's fine. It's fine. We moved on to story? Um, yeah, story, oh, story, mechanics. story. You're still um, on mechanics. Okay. I thought I missed where we moved on to story. Ah, uh, yeah, so, story. <laughs> story, I'm going to go with Metroid again. And, and the sole reason I say that is because it's not that Mega Man X doesn't have a story. But I think what Metroid does really well is that they tell a story, but there's no dialogue. 
You, but but it's still a story that you're pulling stuff out of. At the very beginning, the the last Metroid is in captivity. I, I think the, the env- galaxy is at peace. I think the environmental st- storytelling is something that might not hit for everyone. Like for example, the story in Metroid is. In Metroid 2 on Game Boy, you killed all the Metroids except for one. You mm-hmm. saved a baby. Ridley stole it. They want to replicate it. They want to weaponize it. And the only story you have is through, like, oh, we found these big statues. I got to kill these bosses, and the statues will yeah. change. But it doesn't tell you that directly. Mm-hmm. It doesn't tell you anything directly. And whenever you finally find the vial that the the after you beat Ridley, mm-hmm. you just find the, the vial cracked, and you're like, oh, okay. The Metroid's not here, so what should I do? Oh, I should go back to that statue where all the bad guys were at. And if you don't have the agency to remember that, then you might need to look up a guide. So that, yeah. was, that was that was Kid Jacob like that. That's where uh, that's where that kind of falls flat for me. And but, so like, but if you're not picking up those clues, you might not enjoy the story as much as what I'm trying to say. But at the same time, Mega Man X is a story like I, I, like it, it, again, I'm going back to the, the the Kid Jacob in me. It's just it was just kind of like this is really cool. It was it was a good it was a good action movie. Well, well, like, that and you know? all you need to know was like, hey, you're you're X, you're Maverick Hunter. I mean, I think they had a, an, there, like a, an intro. Yeah. there was an intro with the, the, the text crawl. But then, like, even, like, the, the story that's in your face is Zero's like, hey, we're Maverick Hunters. Those are Mavericks. Mm, okay. They're bad guys. Yeah, we're yeah. good guys. We gotta go that's get them. It's, it's a good, good beat-em-up action movie feeler. And But, like, going... So I have to go back to my adult Jacob, and this is the one where, so far across the board, I've had Mega Man X, but story, I have to kind of give it to Metroid. As yeah. an adult, I, I agree with you guys on the themes of the, the atmospheric storytelling that the game is doing. And making you feel, and we've talked about this before in podcasts, on this episode, on these, on these, these episodes, but the the feeling of alone in space and okay, the great. helplessness that, that that game tells without really, like Steve said, using also, text to tell. I it. forgot to say, from a mechanical standpoint, you can there is no set sequence of what you need to do in what order mm-hmm. in Metroid. You kind of find your own way in that point. Um, whereas. I, I guess Mega Man X, you also oh. have branching paths. So you do I was gonna say, I was gonna say, that, going back to, we're gonna go back to that. Yeah. That, is, that, that gives yeah. Mega Man X replayability. Yeah, 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 well, I, yeah. I forgot, yeah, that's I forgot true. To talk about that. Anyway, Same. Um, but you still say Metroid, so it's fine. <laughs> you know, story wise, Metroid. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying not to be like just biased here, but um, what's next? Uh, oh, um, test of time. Is it standard or, test of time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, both I of think, these do. Both I, yeah, of these do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. You know, honestly... That's a draw on mine. Honestly, I think Mega Man X stands the test of time a little better. You think so? A little it better. It is a little easier to pick up and play, especially yeah. if you've picked up Metroid for the first time. Again, going back to that, like, well, I'm kind of hitting my head Dude, against look at, look, I about. Dude, look at the discourse there was around Metroid Dread with people who just could not... <laughs> they couldn't figure it out. They, they just couldn't... Like, I got frustrated a few times. They like Well, there's some people there that couldn't understand the concept of like how a Metroidvania worked. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Super Metroid is the pinnacle of it, I still yeah. think, to this day. And I think that, um, you know, I, I, just the thing that really pushes me to say Mega Man X is, is the fact that, you know, with those mechanics that we were talking about, the fact that you play it you, you go back and play it a different route and it plays differently each time and you could you could have it to where you do a really hard hard path where nothing changes or you can do an easy path where you know one one action that happens in one map changes the outcome in the other and so I think that really helps it stand the test of time yeah um, one thing I will say that kind of helps Metroid in a little bit is that I feel like Metroid is easy, more easier accessible because there are other ways to play uh, Metroid. Uh, is Mega Man X on the Switch? I don't think so. Oh, there's all kinds of X collections. No, you, it's you, not on the Switch. No, I meant like the like through the Nintendo online. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. No, no. No, it's and not. I, I feel like... I feel like <laughs> it's on Classic. It's easier. That's wild, isn't it? it, it there's an ease, uh, a better ease of access for, for Metroid. So, but... but I, I don't know about that because, I mean, you can get... Mega Man X, just about anywhere. You can get on Xbox, you can get on PlayStation, you can get on Nintendo. Yeah, yeah it's kind of. You have a Switch. If you have a Switch and you have Switch Online. But Metroid's yeah, you have access. As far as Nintendo. But you, but, but, I mean, you can just easily buy it from the store. I mean, True. Money's not a question in this debate. I kind of had well, these as a. Well, I'm not really talking about money. I'm talking about access. You know, and 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 and. Where, Barrier like, to entry. Yeah, exactly. Like like if I want to play Mega Man X again, where am I going to play? Yeah. And I feel like if I'm gonna play. But but I still lean more towards Mega Man X for the for the test of time, because 
it feels unique enough as a Mega Man game to where I'm going to want to play Mega Man X. Whereas the Metroid series, sometimes I feel like it's very similar to one another. Now granted, Super Metroid is by far the best one out of them all. But I feel like I can get... I could get an adequate, if I got an itch, itch for a Metroid game, I could get an adequate, I could get an adequate scratch for, scratch, scratch, blah, 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 uh, scratch for that. <laughs> He's melting! An adequate scratch for that itch playing just about any Metroid games, whereas I feel like Mega Man X itself. I can pick, I can pick I X to. back up and play, uh, and I'll, I'll pick up Metroid, like I mentioned off the, off the camera, I picked it up and did some research, and I found myself wanting to push forward a little more but yep. there's 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 lulls in 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 metro where i'm just like okay i'm kind of bored what do i need to do here okay, right. yeah think. well yeah you have uh, to have that self-guidance right yeah. whereas but 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 metroid has just the same platforms in a different in a different way in that some some of those places are tough man they get frustrated i rage and then i had to put it down but i just to me metroid's a lot more fun so like when slower it comes, pace too yeah, yeah, yeah. way fast way fast pace, fast pace. <laughs> uh, yeah. but and then they, I think they both stand the test of time I'm gonna give the edge slightly to, to Metroid okay or not Metroid excuse me uh, Mega Man I said draw um, revolutionary um uh, to be honest with you neither one of them are all that revolutionary because I feel like uh, they just make the previous games better I... And that's revolutionary, but like it's not. A I, see, I, I see what you're trying to say. It's not a, it's not a super what you're drastic yeah. change. Like they, they they take what previous Mega Man, previous Metroid games did. Yeah, yeah. They make it much, much, much better. Megabytes. It was what they were doing with this game was revolutionary almost on every front. Like what they were able to get the Super Nintendo to project onto your TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like. It was really impressive. So I'm glad I, you brought that up because now I'm going with Metroid. I'm, <laughs> that was not my intention. I'm just saying I'm justifying my vote for which was more revolutionary. I didn't. Have I a, do. I didn't have one yet. If you're going to talk about both these games just being better versions of them old cells, yeah, agree. If you're going to talk about it that way, Mega Man X is a way better version. Yeah, I said jumps. that previously, yeah. Yeah. but it's leaps and bounds better for Super Metroid than than original Metroid. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Hundred percent. Without a doubt. I agree. So what's, I'm going to go with Metroid. What's representative of the console? Metroid. I'll say Metroid. Metroid. Yeah. As yeah. much as I, I mean, want to, I want that Nintendo to be first parties are going to be boy X. X. I think it, I know where this is going, Jacob. Would you like to vote first? It's fine. Mega Man X. You guys go away. Samus the winner. Fine. I'll, I'll be a full loser. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't vote yet. It's all right. I know where it's going. <laughs> now, Super Metroid. Not, it, I mean, it's it, Samus. It, it, I mean, come on. Yeah. It, <laughs> come on. I like that Steve's final. It's, it's Super Metroid. It's Samus. Come on. No. I mean, that's all I gotta say. I mean. There's just, it's just, it, it, it is a, it is, and, and I said this, and I kind of alluded to this earlier, it's very difficult for you, for someone to portray eeriness and creepiness in a, in a 2D game because you see everything around your character. It's so difficult to, to make things. In I a, think in the biggest thing here with Super Metroid is I absolutely love what it does with player agency and environmental yes. storytelling. Yes. Teaching you the wall jump. When you fall down that yes. hole, if you don't know where you're going, you fall in the hole, and then you're like, how do I get out of here? And then you see these little creatures doing the, the wall jump. Little new rats. And you just figure it out. Or like the, whenever you don't know how to do the charge run, and then that, that green chocobo looking thing, yeah. it, cho it shows you how to stop, charge, and jump up. Yep. Um, it's constantly kind of giving you little tips on how to... Like through the environment, through the game design, is just so ingeniously designed to teach you how to play the game without actually directly telling you anything. Yep. Which is super, yeah. So I'm sorry, Jacob, because I love Mega Man X. It's fine. I had to lose some time. I've been winning Su so far. I've been winning so far, so I take a loss. I take about a loss. To take, super take Metroid. But L's coming up. Super here. Metroid. Why did I give up? I'm sorry. Super Metroid's the winner. <laughs> I'm Steve. Oh wait. <laughs> 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 We're professionals, <laughs> and he's cutting all of that out. I don't know, I might keep it. <laughs>